Hey, this is Trader Travis, and welcome to another video in our training series. Now, in this particular video, what we're going to do is teach you about option value and summarize all the components that make up an option's price or premium. Now, if you aren't aware or you're new to options, there are actually six things that makes up an option's price. And so if we look here at an option chain and we're looking at an option, you know, just like you can buy stock, you're looking to buy or sell an option. Here's the price. This one is $8. Well, there are six things that actually makes up that option's price. Now, the first one is the current market price of the stock. And so we'll go through each six one by one and I'll just summarize those for you. And so how the current market price of the stock affects an option is, well, on this left side, we have call options, which give you the right to buy stocks. Put options give you the right to sell stocks. Now, if a stock goes up in value, well, call options will increase in value, and then put options will decrease in value. Okay. Now, if the opposite, if the stock goes down in price, then it's the opposite. Put options will increase in value and call options will decrease in value. And so that's how the stock price movement affects the options price. And the next factor that makes up an options price or option value would be the strike price of the option. And this is particularly in relation to the current market price of the stock in relation to the strike price. For instance, we have Google pulled up here is trading at 756. You have the strikes here. These are also called the exercise prices. And so you have something called in, at, and out of the money, which we won't go into in this video. We've covered it in depth in other videos. But essentially what that means is that out of the money options will generally be cheaper um, at the money uh, and then in the money option, excuse me, will be more expensive. And then at the money will be sort of like a middle road. All right. And just one quick uh, tip as to why that is the different prices is because let's look at the in the money ones. They're more expensive. And the reason they are more expensive is because these are the strikes or exercise prices. When this call option, it gives you the right to sell. Excuse me. It gives you the right to buy Google for 755. Google is trading at 756. So you essentially get to buy it at a discount, you know, a dollar or so cheaper. So because that value is there, you get to buy something, you know, for a sales price or a discounted price. It's more expensive compared to these ones. This one would give you the right to buy Google for seven sixty five. So you essentially be paying more for it than you can just get, you know, buy it for out in the open stock market. So that's why these are of lesser value. There's no real value there for anybody else. All right. So that's how the strike price of the option affects uh, the, the option's value. Now, the next one is the remaining life of the option. Uh, this is also called extrinsic EX, extrinsic value, or also called time value. Now, the quick summary here is that the further out you go, the more expensive an option will be. All right. So we look here at the October ones. October 760 call is $8. October 760 um well, these are weekly options, which we won't get into, but these regular expiration options with 22 days left. So here's a summary. These ones have eight days left to expiration. This uh, strike is $8. This one has 22, 22 days left to expiration. It's worth $23. We come out to options that have 50 days left to expiration, and they are even more expensive, 29 So you can see just in that span of a you know, 2, 20, 30 days difference, it goes up in price from 8 to $29. So that's how the remaining life of the option will affect its value. The further out you go, the more expensive an option will go will be and we don't have time in this video to cover why because we covered that in other videos this is just a summary video the next factor is volatility and uh, I don't have anything to show you well I can actually come here let me just change this up to implied volatility and it's expressed as a percentage 20 percent 32 percent 27 percent and essentially what that means is the more volatile the stock that's attached to that option is in this case Google the more volatile it is the more expensive an option will be Okay, and there are two types of volatility implied and historical. Historical is how volatile the options price has been in the past or, you know, that stock has been in the past. And, you know, implied is how volatile they think it will be in the future. And the last two things uh, are interest rates and dividends. They have a minor effect on the options price, but they do, in fact, have a price, uh, a, an effect, excuse me. So we have to keep that in mind. Now, let me show you an oversimplified illustration of how all this ties in together. So let's say this option was in the money. OK, what I just told you earlier, the 755 is in the money, you know, because it allows you to buy something at a discount. So therefore, it has some value there, you know, about a dollar something value. And actually, if I come here and change it to the intrinsic and extrinsic value screen, you can see that it's showing here. This one has 75 cents of intrinsic or real value to somebody. So essentially, you get to buy it at about a 75 cent discount. All right. So if an option is in the money, that's, you know, that 75 cent will be put in here. All right. But for my example, I have three dollars 
time value, let's say we have an, you know, 20, 30, 50 days left to an option expires, that's going to give a dollar value and attach it to premium, plus volatility, interest rates, dividends, and you're going to get a, you know, you're going to add all those together, you're going to get a, a price, so $5.70. So that $5.70 will be the option's cost or premium. Again, what we showed you here in the beginning, you know, this $8 right here. So this is an example of all the things that are comprised in that $8. So that's it. I hope this option value lesson uh, has helped you kind of bridge the gap between confusion and kind of getting to understand options a little better. The biggest tip I can give you when it comes to option trading is don't do this alone. Okay, Don't go out on your own and try to self-educate because it's the equivalent of trying to learn brain surgery on your own. It's just not smart. Not if you want to succeed. Not if you care about your money. Because if you haven't realized by yet, yet, just this one video alone, you can see how complex option pricing is. There are a lot of pitfalls that new traders, beginners, and amateurs don't know about. So I always tell people, you know, get some help. Get some kind of mentor. It doesn't have to be me. Just find somebody you resonate with. Find somebody where you understand their education. That kind of makes you feel all warm, warm and fuzzy inside. And I'm not joking. I'm actually serious. Because if you trust them, that means you can be open to actually learning this skill and profiting from it. All right. So if you like our education, and you want more of it, just subscribe to our YouTube channel or click the link below and we'll take care of you as well as we take care of all of our students. You take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.